Well, late last year, uh, we were informed that there may be some hacking or attempts at hacking around our numbers, my, Kate and Jerry's numbers, people associated with them who've been helping them. We had no proof, so we approached our phone companies. It took a few weeks for the results to come through, but in my case, Vodafone supplied me with my records, and it proved incontrovertibly that were, there were at least two occasions back in 2008, February and July 2008, where somebody, purporting to be me, had tried to gain access to my account and information about my account with a, a string of ridiculous excuses. One claiming he was a witness on a CID trial for the McCanns. There's no such thing. It's nonsense. Uh, another one claiming he'd received a text message, which Vodafone confirmed they never sent, saying that my voicemail had been accessed by a third party. As soon as I had incontrovertible proof from Vodafone that something odd had happened on my account, I don't know if it was actual hacking or attempts, I went to the police and very swiftly Operation Wheating sent two officers round to talk to me um, a few weeks ago now. I gave them a full statement, all of the paper records I had from Vodafone. Uh, they were very grateful but made it clear their inquiry will go on for some time yet. Their phone records were similarly investigated and the results came back to say that in both their cases there were no obvious signs of suspicious activity around their number. So at the moment it looks like Kate and Jerry's phones haven't been hacked but much will depend on the police investigation to see what's happening. It could have been an individual but I would be naive in thinking it wasn't journalistic in its intent given that it happened at the height of the tabloid storm. We were still front page splash stories in the tabloid press virtually every day right almost through 2008. Um, so I have to assume it was journalistic. If it was then it was a pretty poor attempt because they were leaving a trail. Um, but one can only assume they were looking for that extra piece of information, that extra conversation perhaps with Kate or Jerry that I was having or with the police or whatever to give them that exclusive angle. The pressure on reporters, particularly on the red top papers, is so great these days that they, some of them, it seems, will be prepared to push beyond the boundary of legality.